Hello Tarot viewers, welcome to our Timeless Oracle reading. Our Oracle card for today belongs to the Mediumship Training Deck by Jan Holland and Lauren Rainbow. The card for today is entitled Flower Power. Okay, now it's a little bit bright, but yeah, you can see it here. Flower Power, okay. Before we start, I'd like to show you some things that I have gathered from nature as I do my nature walk. Um, when we go in touch with nature, part of developing our intuition is really interacting with nature. Remember when you were still, when we were still children, we, when we would go to the beach. And when we would go to the beach, we would gather shells, little colorful stones. Sometimes when we see starfishes, we look at them and then we throw them back to the sea. Uh, we gather the different shapes of shells and we, we, we collect a lot of stones and sometimes even those branching corals that are already dried up, that are washed to the shore. What we were doing when we were young this collecting of shells is actually the active way of developing our intuition. Why? The shells speak to us in different ways. That's why we are attracted to them, because the shell gives us messages. The universe, when the universe talks to us, when the divine and our spirit guides would talk to us, they use the most ordinary things because they know that we will, it will catch our attention. If you would like to look at the scriptures in the Old Testament, Moses was attracted by Yahweh in order to give him the message of leading the Israelites to the desert towards the Promised Land, out of Egypt. No. The Yahweh took the attention or got the attention of Moses by using a burning bush he the divine used ordinary things in order to get his attention now it's the same for us also if we are going to develop our intuition we need to interact again with nature the way we interacted when we were with children i invite you to develop again or to reclaim again that sense of wonder that we had when we were children. Just like what I did whenever I go for a walk, when I see a feather, I pick it up and I consider it as the angel's way of saying, you're not alone, we are with you. Along the way, I discovered different kinds of feathers and uh, every time I see them, my heart is filled with warmth knowing that I am not alone, that my spirit guides are with me at that moment and at that time. So the next time you go for a walk, try to be aware, are there feathers along the way? It's developing your awareness of the universe. Nature teaches us to develop our intuition. Nature teaches us to listen to the divine. Listen to how the rocks would speak to you. When you touch a rock, how does it make you feel? That is, does it make you tingle all over? Does it make you feel warm? Be aware of your emotions when you touch a rock. It teaches you also to be sensitive also to everything around you, even the feelings of other people. Sometimes you meet somebody and suddenly you feel tingling sensation all over. Sometimes you feel somebody and suddenly you feel like crying. It's the same with nature. They teach us. When you touch a rock, try to be aware. What thoughts come to your mind? What emotions or feelings come to you? Sometimes it can come to you like, for example, if you touch a certain rock, immediately a certain song comes into your mind or a certain phrase. Be aware of that. Those first thoughts you might consider as uh, it's just an ordinary thing. Oftentimes, 
there are messages also coming from the universe. When you are walking, one of the things that I usually do when I go for a walk, when I when a certain twig that is under the tree catches my attention, I take them also. They have messages for me. Like for example, when you look at this twig, no, it can give you different messages. Like this twig with branches here can symbolize your ancestors messages from your ancestors it's as if when you pick up this twig it's as if your ancestors are assuring you they are with you at that time when you encounter a certain branching out of like this it's like you are right now in a certain point like for example if you are walking and suddenly this twig attack attracts your attention and you see this this separation like that there are two branching out things you try to listen what kind of message is giving it is giving you it can be a message that you will have to make a decision in the near future one decision will be a very smooth road one decision will have a node so there might be an obstacle also in another decision so you try to see if you go through this one and then you find an obstacle then maybe the divine is asking you to go to another route to take another route there are so many ways that the universe can speak to you sometimes when you look at the barks of the tree the patterns of the bark gives you a message even the pattern of the leaves of the tree or even the clouds even the water or even the fire some people refer to it as divination you can look at it in a general sense as learning to listen to your intuition. Learning to trust the messages that nature gives to you. And that is the message of this card, the flower power. Somehow, the mediumship training deck is about mediums who are teaching other people to develop that gift. Those who feel that they are being called to become mediums. And there are different ways of learning to develop our intuition. One of the best ways is interacting actively with nature. So the next time you go for a walk with nature, interact with it. Go back like when you were a child. Be aware of the things you encounter. Little branches, little feathers, little rocks that attack, attract your attention. Let them speak to you. In this card, The Flower Power, the authors are teaching us that flowers can also speak to us. I have several videos with regards to listening to the plants. If you are interested, you can check it in this channel. It's something about quite similar to this flower power wherein just by the flowers you get to receive messages from the spirit realm, from your inner self from the divine now we will try to read from at the back of this card and try to gain some more insights regarding flower power flower power Flowers have a gentle way of touching our heart, our memories, and our soul. Their colors, shapes, fragrances, and beauty all provide hope and a sense of heartfelt inspiration. Flowers are capable of holding energy. Did you know that you can do a reading by holding a flower? It is important to experiment with different techniques when it comes to the development and unfoldment, unfoldment of your spiritual abilities. Flower clairsentience is another form of psychometry, the practice of using items infused with someone's energy. But in this case, you are holding one of nature's beautiful living creations 
instead of a watch or a ring or so on. Flowers are very sensitive and can easily absorb the energy of the person who has been holding them, enabling you to feel the energy that passed between two living things. Let us give this a try. Get a small group together. Tell everyone to bring a flower. Ask each person to take a few moments being totally still, infusing the flower with their energy. Everyone should then place their flower in a vase that you have placed in another room. You, the medium, must not know who brought the witch flower until the exercise is completed. Choose a flower and begin the reading. You may receive psychic information or a spirit loved one for the person. One single flower can act as a way to open the door to the spiritual realms. Well, that's it for today. I hope that this has been interesting for you. Uh, I know it's a little bit more specific. It's like uh, uh, you are already specializing on something. But actually, when you look at it, we can learn something from it in developing our intuition. Just spend more time being with nature. Be more interactive with nature, just as you have been when you were a child. Always think of how you have been curious when you were walking on the beach and how you would gather little items that attract, that attract your attention. And then you listen to what are the messages that are being given to you through these objects. Well, thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.